here is the full lineup for those quarterfinals. Mr. Perfect, Mike Schlusser, goes up against the other American in the field, Chris Schaff. And it's Kim against Deloche. On target number one, representing India. Bir numaralı hedef, Hindistan'dan. Abhishek Verma. On target number two, representing the United States of America. Rakibi, iki numaralı hedef, Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nden. Braden Galantine. Two very high class archers. Five. Good start from Galantine, but a 21 from Verma. Both these athletes qualified through the ranking system for this tournament. Well, Those arrows are so close together that they're actually bending to make space for the veins. So this is a moment that I would ask my coach, can you please check my arrows in, uh, in case something breaks? But if you want a good grouping, that certainly is one. Well, adjusted things and uh, got a 10, 28 out of a maximum 30. And it's another 10 from Verma, a perfect start. Uh, it's been a beautiful... It's a bit wobbly, but it's small movements. It's more like vibration than actual movement, so I don't know if it bothers us too much. It might be that his side picture is a bit... Another little grimace there. Yeah. And there's a notable sort a noticeable wobble in uh, Galantine's yeah, approach it, compared to Verma. It looks like muscle tension to me. It looks like uh, a muscle trap. Well, he wants groupings and consistency. Good. Yeah, a little, uh, little bit quick, but um, sometimes you'll have to force your shot into the tent if it doesn't work another way. Oh, good arrows there from uh, Galantine. Great start. Pressure on Verma now. It seems to both really want this, but. It's a, it's a battle of wills at this point. Another good, solid arrow from Galantine, the defending champion. Oh, the door opened, just creeping into the nine. A tent puts this out of reach. Holding on, holding on. Oh, we held on to that one for a long time. We need a 10 from Verma to have our first shoot off, but he needs it just to stay in the competition and he gets it. A brilliant performance from both athletes with the pressure on throughout and switching from side to side. Show. Well, a nine. And really it's not the door open with that. Then. required to win here and he gets it it's on the line but it'll be marked up as a 10 and a gracious handshake from Braden Galantine who suffered a little bit from uh, well, muscle tension as you put it chef but he certainly looked nervous yeah. and uh, Verma has made it through to the semi-finals but what a match that was And his competitor on target two, representing Denmark. Stefan Hansen.
The line judge for this match is... Elmer Ashley, who's going to shoot first. I would say he has a whole crowd behind him, but uh, Stefan's parents Mid are actually sitting in the middle of the Turkish crowd. So uh, I'm sure that's mess up too, though. Yep, X. Femden. Stregen i lav venstre. Ja. It's interesting how calm Vimir can stay when his uh, his arrow falls off his rest in the middle of a high stress situation like this. Maybe even five. winner from 2015, looking very calm and very, very steady, and uh, the slightest of, uh, well, I'm not really giving away too much there, apart from I'm, I'm pretty cool and calm and steady. So we go into the fifth end, a seven, uh, sorry, a six-point deficit after the uh, measure. Femden. Hansen to shoot first. Big wobble. Big wobble. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. He's very upset. I think he threw his release in the air. Femme, I'm actually taking advantage of uh, an under par Stefan Hansen. Another big wobble there. Gets an eight. Uh, but, uh, well, it's over before the final arrow is shot. Well, a solid performance from Dene Alma Ashley, winner of the second quarter final, but against a very under par Stefan Hansen, who just scored 134 points. Yeah, I think he'll uh, go back to the training field and maybe shoot some black tail or uh, get some good shots off before he uh, gets on a flight home. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea. Kim Jong Ho. And his competitor on target two, representing France. Rakibi, Iki numaralı hedef, Fransa'dan Pierre Julien Deloche. Del PJ being a, a veteran on the field, and uh, Kim Jong Ho, I think. Uh, Pretty new to the compound scene, uh, especially compared to BJ, but already has a lot of uh, good results. I don't think I remember these archers ever shooting against each other, so this might be a, a, a first time thing. They certainly haven't met this season. Um, five seconds to go. It was an extremely long hold, that one. Yeah, he's normally not the quickest archer, but this was a bit, uh, a bit too long, I think, also for his taste. He seems to go a little low. Every time he makes a mistake, they end up low, which would mean he takes energy out of the arrow rather than putting a different sort of energy into the arrow. The 
it's not the arrow you want at the moment like this, but I suppose you didn't do it on purpose. Well, nine uh, from Kim as well. <laughs> so pressure now moves over to the Korean. He does have the notional lead here, but he needs to score a 10 to keep it. Yeah. Holding on there a nine. Oh, Kim needs the ten here, but he was under pressure at the end of the last end. Can he do it? Oh, he does. Comes down to two, two arrows, one each for the athletes, and Kim Jong Ho, when the pressure was on. Pulled it off, and he'll go through to the semi-finals. Pierre Julien to lost. Well, to be fair, both of them uh, had, had showed a little bit of tension, didn't they, yeah. Chef? But yeah, they it did. was a bit more uh, visible on Deloche's face early doors, and he pulled it all back together, yeah. uh, but just got pimped at the post. It seemed like it was more visible on uh, the face of PJ, but it was more visible on the hands of Kim Jong-ho. You could see uh, his bow trembling every time he had a, a difficult moment. and. Uh, on target one, representing the Netherlands. Bir numaralı hedef, Hollanda'dan Mike Schlesser. And his competitor on target two, representing the United States of America. Rakibi, iki numaralı hedef, Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nden Chris Sharp. The line judge for this match is Oh. Uh, he qualified with his wins in Antalya and Berlin, but goes up against the winner of Salt Lake City, Chris Schaff. Oh. Not, not very pleased with the shot, but he managed to to keep it in the tent. But he certainly wasn't happy happy with the second one. No, no. He's corrected it. And uh, a perfect score for Chris Schaff. Puts like him that, into yeah. the lead. Just like that. And he's put my oh, That's a bit more like it yeah. for the Dutch athlete. A simple shot. Not too much uh, time to hassle with it. Keep it up, Christopher. Good hard shot. Chris? Oh, the again. But it's another 10 from Schaff. Yeah, not his prettiest shot, but it still hit the, the bottom of the 10 ring. And another nod from Mike Schlitzer. He's certainly putting the pressure on Chris Schaff. You can see it translate to some vibrating in his uh, in his. Mark does a nine. Schlusser will want another ten, and he gets a perfect score. Uh, Mr. Perfect's girlfriend looking on, uh, but Schaff just needs a nine to win, and he's got his nine. That's all he needed. And Chris Schaff of the United States of America has taken out the number one seed. In the end, it was by a single point, but. Uh, he certainly shot a brilliant match there. Yeah, he, he for sure did. Uh, especially the first four ends were so solid and uh, I almost didn't see any shaking. And then uh, when the pressure came on... Target number one representing Turkey. Demir Elmaç. On target number two, representing India. Iki numaralı hedef, Hindistan'dan. Abhishek Verma. The line judge for this match is... Maçın çizgi hakemi. Alexander Vecchio Passerini. Off. Oh. Good start there. 
Per settle the nerves for the 27-year-old 2015 champion, but he's going up against the 29-year-old Abhishek Verma, who's ranked third. And look at that. You might be thinking, ah, oh, it's not too terrible to shoot a nine because I can get away with it. Yeah. And then if you uh, if you don't think about uh, or if you don't think it's too bad to shoot a nine, you'll probably not shoot a nine because you won't get the nerves. Yeah. Tension. Well, applying pressure early with an X. Another longish hold. Exactly. Verma to shoot first, though. I have to say it's really impressive shooting by both. The conditions are not perfect. There is not an easy light. Uh, there's a little bit of wind. So I'm impressed by how well they're doing. Might have jinxed it again. Yeah, give him any chance. It goes into the nine. Disappointment because uh, Elma actually only needs a nine to win this. They want to finish with a ten. And he does indeed get a ten. He's shooting very well in front of the home crowd here. And he goes through a tense semi-final with Abhishek Verma. But he was solid throughout. And he will go on to compete for gold here in Turkey. And the crowd are delighted with that. We will, of course, see El, um, Abhishek Verma in the bronze medal match. So he still has a shot at a medal here. But that's the man of the moment here in Samson. Demir Amma Ashley wins the first semi final in Samson and will go on. I'm representing the Republic of Korea. Kim Jong Ho. On target number two, representing the United States of America. Chris Schaff. Arrow average over the last two years, I think. Good start, good start. Oh, well, that's right. That's a near perfect shot yeah. from the American. That's an 11 air average. Well, that's a good start to put the pressure on. How it's will Shaf react? Yeah. We will be tied. It's called as 10, 10, 10, and it probably is, but it is subject to measure for Kim. Chris Schaff is going to want a 10 here to finish off the third end, and he gets it. Just that one stray arrow to the left. He's only arrow outside of the 10. It's not far outside. There you go. Just like that. And needs a 10, though. Ten. He gets a 10. Gets ten. Right in the middle. Oh, and now Chris Schaff needs a 10 to win. Can he get back into the centre? And he does indeed get the 10 required. He wins by a single point. 148 plays 147 in a high quality. Good job, good job. Remember the target score, the target total score is 150. So between them, these archers just dropped three points. Incredible stuff. But Chris Schaff comes through 
an incredibly entertaining men's semi-final as the winner and he will go on up to compete for gold a little bit later on today but Kim Jong-ho didn't shoot badly at all Shaft was just the man of the moment gentlemen please welcome the athletes to the field for the compound men's third place match Bayanlar baylar makar ve erkekler üçüncülük maçına çıkacak sporcuları sahaya davet ediyoruz On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea. Bir numaralı hedef, Kore'den Kim Jong-ho. And his opponent on target two, representing India. Rakibi, iki numaralı hedef, Hindistan'dan Abhishek Verma. will shoot first here and this is for the bronze medal starts with a 10 he scored a 147 in his semi-final verma scored a 145 and two ten chef to start us off yeah expecting uh, something pretty high scoring here i am expecting a very high score they have uh, pretty much an, uh, the same average arrow and um they have shot good scores leading up to this bronze medal match, so I'm expecting something nice. Shooting first, but trailing by a point. So as oh, and he does indeed. Long hold and a wobble there. Yeah, a big wobble. Oh. <laughs> Kim does it in a very flamboyant way by uh, throwing his bow all, uh, all directions. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. Looping there. Oh. Oh. Exceeded by Kim Jong Ho. Good that's, start. Yeah, that's part one of the plan. Well, perfect. If, as long as Verma matches him, in fact, he can afford to drop one point compared to Kim and still take the bronze medal here. Another line and still win if Kim gets a perfect score and he does so a perfect 30 again for Kim but a 9 to win for Abhishek Verma. Oh, he's got a 10 and he's got the bronze medal here in the compound men's Hyundai Archery World Cup final in Samson, Turkey and a big smile and a fish pump on his face and a, a very, very generous and gracious handshake from Kim Jong-ho and his coach. But there is the bronze medalist who came through an incredibly high level match. Yeah, with the highest score of the day so far. Yeah, a 149 just dropping a single point on his second arrow of the match. Abhishek Verma smiling away delighted with his performance here in Samson. <laughs> Salutes the crowd. Demir Elmach! <laughs> On target number two, Representing the United States of America. Rakibi, iki numaralı hedef. Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nden Chris Schaff. Schaff will shoot first. Yeah. Oh. He just continues where he left off. Yeah, this is an intriguing battle because Demet 
Alma Ashley has the whole crowd, well, almost the whole crowd behind him. And will be a very popular winner here in Samson. But Chris Schaff is shooting brilliantly. And let's not forget that Demi has a chance to uh, write some history here. He can be the first uh, host nation World Cup final winner. The very first in all the years that this has been going on. Drops a point. But still, high scoring stuff. Well, 10 after 10 after 10 from the American here. His uh, stoic looks don't give much away, but the scoreboard tells its own story. Maybe. Altı, beş, dört, üç, iki. Mick seems to consistently hit the uh, middle of the target time and time again. Very uncharacteristic eight given his uh, performance today. A nine here means that uh, Schaff, Chris Schaff needs at least a nine to stay on level terms. He gets a ten. It, we'll must, shoot have, first. it must have given Demir a little bit of confidence that. Chris can also miss because he hasn't missed before that shot and uh, I can imagine that it's very difficult for Demir to stay motivated to try to hit the middle if your opponent just doesn't miss. Oh, there you go. It's upgraded to a 10 automatically. Schaff, well, he looks like he's going to take this. And he does. He gets another perfect score and wins the gold medal here in Samson in the compound men's event by two points, 148 to 146. Demir Alma actually did not shoot badly at all. But Chris Schaff today has been superb throughout and he's taken gold at the World Cup final. He's yeah. ecstatic. <laughs> he doesn't show much emotion. There you go, turns the crowd, gives them a salute. There is confirmation that Chris Schaff is the compound men's gold medal winner here in Samson, Turkey, to our stadium announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the compound men. Bayanlar, baylar, Makaralı yay erkekler bireysel ödül töreni. Trophy and checks will be presented by Sports Directorate General Director. Kupa ve ödüllerini Spor Genel Müdürü Sayın Mehmet Baykan verecek. The Longin Watch will be presented by Longin International Advertising Manager. Longin saati Longin Uluslararası Reklam Menajeri verecek. Samuel Gela. Third place representing India. Üçüncü Hindistan'dan Abhishek Verma. Very good. Second place representing Turkey. Ikinci Türkiye'den Demir Emma Gachi.
First place, representing the United States of America. Birinci, Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nden Chris Sharp. Very good. Evet. Bayağı varmış. 